Hi, my name is Jeff Jones. In the last video, I showed you how to create a root shell connection into a Windows 2003 server by scanning the server with the same vulnerability scanner, then exploiting the server by utilizing the Saint penetration tool that is built into Saint. Today, I'm going to show you how to escalate your privileges and create a domain user, then upgrade that user to an administrator, turn on remote desktop, and add the administrator to the remote desktop users group using Windows command line. So let's take a look at our network setup. As you can see, we have uh, the same uh, attack server sitting on Ubuntu 11.10 with an IP address of 192.168.1.6. Over here we have my machine, which is a Windows 7 uh, machine, and it is running uh, on 192.168.1.22. And I'm going to uh, web into the Saint attack server. And the Saint attack server is going to actually make the connections into our Windows 2003 server running uh, Service Pack 1 with 192.168.1.17 as its IP address. So go ahead and look at that, that setup. Okay, from here, we're going to take a look at our uh, Windows 2003 server. We'll go ahead and check the IP address. And it is at uh, 192.168.1.17. So let's go to the Saint Vulnerability Scanner. I've logged in. We're running uh, Saint 7.13.23. And I've already run the scan as in our previous video. So we'll go ahead and just take a look at the vulnerabilities there. We're going to take a look at the host info this time. And we're going to do it by system type. So we have a Windows server. And we can see it's Windows 2003 running Service Pack 1. Click on that. And we're going to see uh, the problems associated with that machine. We're going to click on this again. And go to vulnerabilities. And we can see that uh, we've got two exploits available. Once again, I am going to exploit the uh, MS08067 buffer overflow. Let's go ahead and exploit that. We'll run this now. And we're running Service Pack 1. We're doing a reverse port, meaning the Windows Server is going to spawn the connection back to the Saint penetration tool. And the exploit begins. Okay, the exploit was successful. That's a good good thing. So we'll go in and check the connections. And as you can see, we have the choices that I showed you in the previous video. This time we're going to start a tunnel first off. Okay, the tunnel failed. We'll go back to connections. We're going to try that again. Okay, the tunnel is established. So we have a persistent tunnel 
that will only be disconnected if the user powers off the machine or unplugs the server from the network. Okay, so the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to create a admin user and then give that user that admin user remote desktop privileges and we're going to do that by issuing some Windows commands to the Windows 2003 server. Now when we go to the Windows 2003 server we'll go ahead and uh, make sure that RDP is indeed turned off Click on the remote tab on system properties and it is turned off as you can see. Now let's go back to the Saint exploit server. Okay, so the first thing I want to do in the Saint exploit server is go to the command prompt. And I'm going to do an IP config. Just to make sure we're on the right machine. So we're going to take a look at the uh, commands we're going to be using. And you can see I've written these down ahead of time. This way all I have to do is cut and paste. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually enable remote desktop uh, via command line. I'm just going to copy that. We're going to add this to the registry of the Windows 2003 server. Copy that. And I'm going to open up the command prompt and I'm going to put that in. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so the command completed successfully. So the next thing we want to do is go back to our notepad. And really this is the best way to do it. That way you're not making any sort of, uh, any sort of typos and you know what's going to happen. We'll just copy this. This actually turns the terminal services on. Okay, so the terminal services are on. So what we now need to do is create a, a user that will uh, be able to connect into the server via RDP. So let's go back to our notepad. And so we're going to do a net user hacker add. And hacker is the username that we're using. Okay, so we've created the user hacker. And we're going to want to add a password to that as well. So let's add the password. I don't have this written down, but uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, freehand that. Okay, so that's going to be net user hacker hacker okay so we've done that that's how you add the password we're gonna go back and we're gonna add that hacker into the administrative users directory
Let's go ahead and paste that. Okay, so this user is now a administrator, and we need to add him also into the remote desktop protocol users folder. Okay, so that's completed successfully. Let's go back and take a look at our uh, Windows 2003 server and see if it took. So once again, we'll go to Start, Control Panel, System, and then Remote Desktop. And you can see Remote uh, Desktop is now enabled. Cancel that. And what we'll do is we'll go to my machine. And what we're going to do is we're going to make an RDP connection into it. So this is going to be 192.168.1.1. We're going to connect. As you can see, we have a uh, command command prompt login to Windows Server 2000. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the word username hacker, then hacker is a password, and we're doing OK. get the personal settings to load okay, you can see we're in on the server I'm going to close that out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this window so it fits into our screen do is go ahead go to uh, administrative users and we are going to look at the admin users okay so let's go up here to computer management and we're going to look at the uh, local users and groups And we can see hackers up there. I'm going to open him up. And we'll just see what he is a member of. And he's an administrator, a remote desktop user, and a regular user. So we'll hit OK. Close that. OK, so I just want to summarize. Uh, I've shown you how to create a user and then make put that user into the admin group and make that user a remote desk, desktop protocol user and create RDP services. So the next time what I'm going to do is show you how to do some cleanup and uh, covering our tracks as we uh, delete that user and then uh, erase the logs and clear the event logs on the Windows 2003 server. So thank you very much. And if you've got any questions, please give us a call, 603-552-5140, or go to our website, which is www.topgallant-partners.com, and um, fill out the website form, and we'll get in touch with you. So have a great day. Thank you. Bye.